three man stun. Here we go for OMG. They get the knock up, but the AoE damage from BLG hits harder first until they bring in Crystal oh. as well. OMG, it's the Wombo combo. It comes down now as the, everyone's getting tired. The box comes in, but oh my god, the rupture shockwave combo. Movement speed, but it's not going to be enough. Hillsong is eventually able to lock him down. Shockwave's going to come through. That picks up two kills. Zone them all out, or is he? He's just gonna go between the towers. There is Genji's death. There's a bullet time for him as well. We're gonna get a fight. That's a flash forward, and Chris was able to size up a lot of the damage. Manages to get the dredge line. Here's the support from Doom V, as oh, well as yeah. Doom V. The good magic. Supreme. Agora a Fanny Rock luta história por aqui. O robô tem que posicionar. Chega agora Minerva. A porta é fechada, mas ele já tinha usado de mente. Um bomba com a lucidez. Hi, I'm Shox and welcome back to Ultimate List, the home of all esports' craziest and most legendary moments of all time. Let's face it, there's no bigger love-hate relationship in League than you and your teammates. On the one hand, they can have and will run it down faster than an Olympic gold medalist, leaving you to somehow shut down the 12-0 jacks. But on the other hand, with the right allies, you can make team fighting magic, coordinating abilities to create a spirit bomb of damage and CC that can totally wipe out your opponents in just a second, otherwise known as the Wombo Combo. And here comes the slam. They're gonna knock up on towards what did the charm, the double charm in the back line. Here's the hero's entrance, and the ground erupts as XO jumps in to G2, and G2 collapse under the weight of Gavin. Wombo combos aren't easy to pull off, requiring a smart draft and pixel perfect cooperation between teammates. But the payoff for all that prep is the ability to make the impossible possible, producing a play that can overcome almost any deficit. And what better way to highlight the power these plays hold than by looking at, in no particular order, the five greatest wombo combos in LOL Esports history. Round 3 of the 2021 LPL Spring Playoffs saw Suning face the difficult task of defending their base against a mega buffed up top esports. Down 0-1 to start the series, Suning were at risk of falling to elimination point after some team fighting fumbles cost them every major objective in Game 2. First gone was the Infernal Soul, then TS melted the Elder Drake taking Baron less than a minute later to complete their buff collection. Sadly for TES though, all of those buffs couldn't protect them from the Wombo combo awaiting them at Suning's base, with the then reigning LPL champs getting obliterated 4v5. Re-engage the four-man magnet storm, never mind! Suning will continue playing the game, Casa crashes down, but it is on! Origin speed ran through the world of LoL Esports in 2015, beginning the year in Challenger and ending it competing for the Summoner's Cup at the World Championship. And with Worlds came some of Origin's hardest competition of the entire year, starting in the group stage where they met the LPL's first seed, LGD Gaming. While Origin began the match with an early lead, LGD fought back in the mid-game, tying the gold score through picks in addition to winning the first major teamfight. Come teamfight number two though, Origin were ready to rumble, neutralizing Acorn's TP flank by completely decimating the rest of LGD with their four ultimate wombo combo. Damage, so I was trying to get to the back line. He did get hit by Emo Plague. Expect it's okay. Big old shockwave. Oh, that shockwave oh, that's that's a wombo combo! Oh. When you think of wombo combos, it's easy to imagine those epic five-man ult chains that deal a bazillion damage to the enemy team. But sometimes all you need are a couple of abilities and a little five-head thinking to produce a truly amazing combo, something G2 showcased last spring with their ingenious Senna Scion bot lane versus Schalke. And Neon takes a gigantic... Oh, there it is again! It's again! Oh! That is beautiful! A crafty strategy that began with Reckless dropping his last embrace onto a cannon minion, Mickey X then perfectly timed his Roar of the Slayer onto that same minion for the immediate AoE route upon impact before ulting in to complete the wombo combo. Now, would you believe me if I told you they'd never practiced the play before this game? 
he's like a really good Scion player and he told me that last year when he was playing with Perks he had this cool combo where Senna would W the creep and then Scion would E it for, <laughs> for engage and uh, we kind of yeah, learned it throughout the game I guess. We could have done much more but we learned it throughout the game and we haven't actually played uh, Scion and Senna at all in scrims. We were just freestyling after Tom not being a good pick and then being banned out it actually was. Although he wasn't named Series MVP, Ambition was phenomenal in the 2017 World Championship Finals, setting Samsung Galaxy up for success time and time again through his ganks and team fighting. Ambition's best play of the finals came in Game 2, turning a potential throw by Samsung into their Ace and Baron, finding two Wombo combos back to back as Jarvan. Is not too much, though. The opens are down. Here comes the re engage once again for Ambition. Wants to add the damage. Whoa! Now. Look at the blade, Colorado Ruler. Do they have the oh my god! Triple knockup! The follow through for Cuban! And he's gonna fight for help, but still one death comes through. The suppression comes in. Four kills already. One man stands alive, and he's going to fall. Jumping in to back up Ruler, Ambition set up his first Wombo combo, trapping three members of SKT with his Cataclysm for the now inescapable Zaya ult. Ambition then flashed ahead, only to knock up SKT with a flag and drag onto his already active E, setting Juve's Nar up for the second combo of the fight. Lastly, we asked you on Twitter what the most epic Wombo combo of all time was, and to no one's surprise, the most posted play comes from everyone's favorite dynasty, SK Telecom T1. Jumping back to 2017 Worlds, SKT found themselves in Group A alongside EDG, giving fans the long-anticipated reunion between Faker and his former understudy Scout, who is now the LPL champion. Finally, meeting on the rift on day two of groups, Scout and EDG came out swinging, absolutely crushing SKT's scaling comp across the entire map. Behind nearly 10k gold at 28 minutes with zero kills and only two outer turrets taken, SKT looked hopeless. But on the brink of defeat, Faker and SKT found the miracle engage, executing this now legendary wombo combo to begin the greatest comeback in world's history. Bang, look at it come in. Here comes your initiation. Oh, oh, oh my god! Faker Shockwave will find them all! And SKT, with a hell of a response, will take down four! They did it! They fall back from a 9,000 gold deficit and won a team fight against all. shocks and that's been this week's episode of ultimate list but do you think we've forgotten a wombo combo or you have ideas for future episodes let us know in the comments down below or hit us up on twitter at lolisports thanks for watching